an independent filmmaker who directed The Other Side of Heaven. You may have heard of that one. His next project, The Stray, opens in theaters nationwide next month. Sean Lake has more on why this is a special <laughs> film for him in tonight's Person to Person. Mitch's latest movie is a family affair. He directed it, and it was written by his son. It's based on a true story that involves their family and a very special dog. Where did you come from? And stood by me no matter what came my way. It's really a story about a family that's in turmoil. Mm -hmm. uh, you played a large part in that, a workaholic. Yeah, yourself. all my fault. I was working at Disney as a junior executive. I was working with Jeffrey Katzenberg and Michael Eisner and a few other folks. I was straight out of film school. I was at a low level, but I got to work on some really cool projects. So it must have felt at the time kind of like a dream job. You had gone to BYU yeah. undergrad, yeah. USC film school. Yeah, it was totally a dream path. That was good news, bad news. I mean, uh, I was working for, as I said earlier, Jeffrey Katzenberg, who was notorious for showing up at the office at 6 or 7 in the morning, leaving at 10 or 11 at night. And so I had to do the same thing. But unlike really every other executive there, I had a wife and children that I valued and that I wanted to spend time with. The rest of them were almost all single. In spite of my best intentions to be a good dad, be a good husband, I just wasn't around. And then along comes Pluto. <laughs> Pluto the Wonder Dog. One day in the midst of Disney madness, I said to my wife, you know what I think we need? We need a dog. And after a, some discussion, she, she kind of laughed. She said, I'll tell you what, if a stray dog shows up, I'll think about it, but no way am I going out and getting a dog on purpose. A week or two later, a stray dog followed our oldest son home from the school bus stop. And he ended up being a bit of an angel in our family's life. Then he really saved my life when I got struck by lightning years later. What happened? Where were you and how did everything come together? We moved to Colorado to just kind of try and decompress. Mm -hmm. I invited a few neighbor boys to go on a backpacking trip with my son Christian. We were hiking in the late afternoon of a July day. It started to snow. And so I put the boys inside the tent, started fixing them hot chocolate. What's wrong? And kaboom. It was a direct hit through the tent into my chest. Um, most of the lightning went through this armpit, burned all the hair out of my armpit, oh. into the dog was seated beside me. He got a lot of it. And then I flew back and whatever lightning was left inside me shot out this hand into the kid next to me and it went from kid to kid to kid and danced around inside the tent. What went through your mind and soul? So I had a, a very lonely long night to just sit there, lie there and think about God, man and the universe and me. I made some decisions, made some choices that hopefully have informed the rest of my life since then. You talk about God and your faith, mm -hmm. etc. And being able to tell stories that you can stand by and you feel good about and there are messages that you want to get out there. We How important has that been to you and to your success? Honors. Every movie I've ever made has a faith component to it. I choose light. I choose light. I mean, why, why go to all the trouble and expense of doing a great job at producing a bad thing. I mean, why, why choose darkness? Something to think about. Yeah. The Stray opens on October 6th. For more about the movie and what's next for him, go to KUTV.com, click on Features, then Person to Person. Person to Person brought to you by Rocky Mountain Chevy Dealers. So at our house, I think about an inch and a quarter of rain. Is that right? Yeah. We're